everyone and welcome back to my channel, Be Delicious Budgeting. My name is Anna. Today we're going to be trying out what's supposed to be the most full coverage foundation and concealer. So I'm really excited to try that out. And if you're new here, welcome. I focus on content such as beauty, lifestyle, and how to save money. So if you're interested, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also, let's give this video a thumbs up and let's just go ahead and try on this foundation and concealer. So today we're trying out Juvia's Place foundation and concealer. So I have the concealer in the shade 8. So this was on sale at Ulta for $9.80 and then I got the concealer in the shade Ibiza 530 which normally it retails for $20 but it was on sale for $14. So one thing I want to know about the shade range, so they definitely cover all type of shade ranges but I feel like if you're in between shades like myself it's kind of hard to find so when the Ulta employee like picked out what's supposed to be my shade I was like oh this looks a little dark or kind of orangey. So they definitely kind of have like orange type shades and not really much transitional shades. So if you can't find your color, I'd recommend like mixing two together just so you can get your color. But let's see if these are my color or not. I'm a little nervous for that. So first I'm just going to prime my face with the IT Cosmetics Primer. So I got this in an Ipsy subscription. This one has been really nice since my skin has been pretty dry lately. So it has like a gel like substance to it. I'm not too sure what the full retail price is, but I would definitely recommend it if you have dry skin or just need some hydration. Now that the skin is primed, we're going to go in with the concealer. So as you can tell, it kind of looks exactly my shade or maybe like even a little darker, which I know like the rule of thumb is to go a shade lighter. So it's definitely a huge tube and the applicator is huge. So I would definitely go in a little lightly. So let's just see how it goes on. Okay, so it definitely feels really thick upon application. I would go in a little lighter as I add more, it's just habit. So I'm gonna go like the half of my face first just to kind of show the comparison. So definitely going with a light hand and a little goes a long way. I'm actually gonna blend this in first. So when I did my video, my full face of first impressions of 2021, I got this Ipsy foundation sample, Pure Foundation 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie. It's a really long name. I'll have a link down below, but I really like the coverage on it. But the retail price was $36, which isn't bad. I would definitely pay that much for it because I really liked how it wore and the coverage on it. But I wanted to find something else, like maybe a little cheaper, like a good dupe for it. So most of my foundations and concealers have been couponed at CVS or Walgreens or whatever I get in an Ipsy subscription. So for once, I was like, I want to get what I want, not by what you know I can coupon or just like by what I get in an Ipsy subscription. So I think this has really good coverage. So obviously it's a little tanner, but my skin has been really red lately. But I think it really has a nice coverage and honestly, a little goes a long way. I kind of feel like it's foundation in a way. It's definitely on the thicker side. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit. I'm gonna just put this much for half of my face. It feels so weird only doing like half my face. I just wanna go all over, but I just want to show you all the comparison and like the coverage. So this is how it looks like up close. I thought it was gonna be cakey upon application, but actually it goes on really nicely. You definitely want to use a little bit because a little does go a long way. Like I honestly feel like I could blend it over to my other side, but I like the finish on it and it doesn't leave a line with my neck. And I know the color obviously looks a little darker, but like I said, I'm in really red, so I like that cover Z redness and I definitely think it's full coverage. I'm just gonna see how far it blends into the other side because like I said, a little definitely goes a long way. And I do like full coverage, so I'll mention that Pure 4-in-1 foundation below in the color I had. I would spend the $36 on it, which is a lot coming from me because I'm cheap, but I just really like the coverage on it. And then also being able to try it out first, that was pretty cool in the Ipsy subscription. But I like that I was able to do research on this and then I just happened to catch it on sale. And I've been hearing about this being super full coverage. So as you can tell, it did blend to the other side. I'm just gonna put a little bit more just so it evens out. And I'll wipe some off because I even feel like this is like a lot to be honest. Since it is kind of like a thicker wear, I'm kind of curious to see how it wears out through the day or like when it's hot out because you know like the heavy thicker makeup I'm not too sure so that's something I'm worried about but I really do like the coverage and how easy it blends out and how that a little goes 
a long way, so you definitely get your money's worth. Price point really isn't that bad either. So this is what it looks like up close. So again, there's not a line. The color match is actually pretty good because in the tube, it definitely looks a lot darker than I am. So at first I was like, oh my goodness, I'm probably gonna have to return this, which even before COVID, I hate returning things because you like open them, you have to go back and like hope they take it back. I don't know, I just feel like nervous returning things and it's just kind of like a hassle and you know, you wanna use the product and like it. It's kind of hard like knocking like testers or samples. So that's why I haven't really been buying like much new foundation or concealer. So now I'm just gonna put on some bronzer, blush, setting spray, setting powder, all that good stuff just to get the full effect. I've really been loving this Wet n Wild color icon in the shade Wet Shady Beaches. I got it at Dollar Tree and it's a really gorgeous color and I hope to find more so I can stock up because it's super rare if I like love a bronzer. And also one thing I want to note, so at first I was nervous getting the Juvia's Place Foundation Concealer just because the shade range was a little off or I feel like it didn't have like my color. So they are accepting returns. So if it's like too orange, just not your color, just be reassured that you can definitely take it back and return it for like a different color or maybe a, another brand that you like. I just love like the warmth that this color gives to my face and just looks like natural and not like muddy well not natural but it just adds like a really nice glow to the face and i've been loving this la colors berry plum blush which i also got at dollar tree dollar tree's been like killing it with like the brand name brand name makeup like i've been going there like all the time like wondering what new hidden gems i can find oh my gosh i forgot how pigmented this one is so the berry plum one's very pigmented so going with the light hand but the shade toast you definitely have to like swirl a bit more so i think i just got confused right now and then also i'm just like swirling and talking I'm going to fix it so whenever like i put too much on i'll just go in with my total face sponge and just kind of go over it with what foundations left in there For highlighter i'm gonna go with the anastasia glow kit this is such an oldie but a goodie I really like it and I think I'm gonna go in with the shade White Sand. So I literally do wash my makeup brushes after every use. So when I wash out the total face sponge, like hardly anything comes out because it just puts all the product on your face, which is absolutely great. It's not like absorbent like other sponges do. I think I wanna be a little extra today and put some in my inner corner. So I'm gonna do the shade Snow. I actually got this brush from Dollar Tree. It's a precision brush. And it's really nice because even when I wash it after each application, like it still holds its shape. It's a very stiff brush, but I think it's really nice when you need to be precise or even to build your crease, but you definitely need to blend it out because it'll leave some like harsh lines and nobody wants that. For lipstick, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Lip Kit in the shade Posse K. So these are actually pretty good. It's very drying though, so definitely put on a thick balm underneath or even afterwards but it will like keep in place. So like you can eat, drink, wear your mask. It is definitely not transfer proof by any means, but you know, your lipstick won't be all over your face. Just have like a strong vanilla scent. So if you're not into like fragrance at all, I don't think you'll like it, but I just want to point that out and a little does go a long way. So I always have to like wipe some off. In powder, I'm gonna go with the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Light Medium 20. So this one works really nicely and just keeps your makeup on all day. And also what I noticed too, like if my blush is like too pigmented, this kind of like tones it down as well. So this is a really nice powder. But like I mentioned in one of my last videos, I was gonna update you on how I feel about the Hard Candy Anti-Pollution Setting Spray as compared to the Hard Candy Oil Control. So I have dry skin, which this should have just been a no brainer, my bad. But this one definitely is a lot more drying that I've noticed. So now I just kind of spray my makeup brushes with it if I need to wet them a little bit. But yeah, this one's definitely more drying and it's not good for dry skin. I did find these at Dollar Tree. And this one's actually a lot more hydrating, I feel like. The other one says it's hydrating as well, but I feel like this one's more hydrating and it has more of a fragrance to it. So if you don't like fragrant, maybe the other one works for you, but I like this one a bit more and have been using this because it does hydrate my skin. Both work well in keeping your makeup on, but as far as like how your skin feels, that one is for more oily skin or if maybe you're in a humid area, maybe for summer it'd be better for me, but for right now, I'm liking this one a lot more. Now we're just going to set the face with this setting spray. I just put extra on because my skin's super dry and this feels amazing. 
So that is it for the full coverage foundation concealer. Let me know your thoughts down below. I actually think the color worked pretty well and it does blend into my skin. There's no like lines there. So she did a pretty great job. And let me know in the comment box down below what your favorite full coverage foundation concealer is. I definitely love to know. Also let me know if you tried Juvia's Place before and how that worked out. And I think it's a great product and I'll definitely update in the description box how it wore all day. So that's probably my main concern now, like how is it gonna wear for hours and hours? So we are gonna run some errands. So I'll be wearing a mask and all that. So I'll definitely be put to the test. And if you haven't already, let's hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you all in my upcoming videos. Bye everyone.